from Greeno and welcome along to this little channel update. And obviously we're heading towards the end of the FM20 cycle now. Uh, my channel's been up and running only for about six weeks and I'm pretty pleased with how things are going. Uh, this week we just finished up the Bournemouth save, the Better Than Eddie series, which uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun making and we still got the Holy Cow save with the Indian national team running. I've got a new series dropping this week which is going to run us through up until the, the beta kicks in which is a bottom to top challenge with Lommel over in Belgium so we're going to try and take them from the bottom of the second tier there up to well as far as we can take them really until the beta drops in. The India save, holy cow which I mentioned, is going to continue to run. Uh, that's a lot of fun, it's a real bit of a roller coaster to be honest. Um, but that will run right up until the beta and probably beyond to be honest, um, up until the main save drops in. Um, yeah, I, I'm really enjoying that series, so I really don't, <laughs> I don't want to stop making it, to be honest. Uh, in the next day or two, I'm going to be putting out a video of my pick of five teams that I think are going to be interesting to manage in FM21. These are all ones that are a little bit off the beaten track, if you like. That's kind of where I like to find my football. Um, in some weird and wonderful places. So yeah, so there'll be some some interesting clubs in there that you probably might not have thought about as FM21 saves. That yeah, that could be interesting for a variety of reasons. So uh, yeah, hopefully you'll enjoy that. The beta save. So a few a few of you may have seen on Twitter. I announced that I'm going to be doing Newcastle as my beta save. Um, I was a bit conflicted. I was thinking of doing a Bournemouth save, seeing as that's you know my team. Um, see if we could turn things around and get back up to the Premier League. But I thought it was a little bit too soon after the Better Than Eddie series. I did think about West Ham. All my family are West Ham fans, so uh, I thought they might be interested in that. But what I decided in the end was Newcastle, because just the temptation to ruin Ryan Fraser's career, basically, was just too much to turn down. So when I go out there, one of the first things I'm going to be doing is sticking him in the reserves and he's never going to play a first team game for me. So, <laughs> yeah, I think I'll have a bit of fun with that. So, of course, we're all looking forward to FM21 dropping and I've got you know, quite a few good ideas, I think, for saves to, to run through the FM21 cycle. Uh, the main one, I think, is probably going to be a, a journeyman save around Europe based upon places I've been to see football. Um, so there'll be criteria in there that you know, I have to have seen the team that I'm going to manage play live, for example. So yeah, that should be a lot of fun, and it'll be another national team save, of course. I've uh, really enjoyed doing that, and I implore you all to do the same. It's I think it's something that people tend to do as a bit of an add-on to a club save. You know, take the England job if you get offered it. But the likes of myself and FM Llama and Dodgy Gamer and all that, you know, a few other creators, um, yeah, I've shown that you can have a lot of fun just running an international save by itself. So yeah, I'd recommend you try that out at some point. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little update and I hope you'll drop into my new series with Lomo and uh, and give that your support. This has been FM Greeno and that's it from me for now. Bye then.